Aha! No, I'm just oh, yeah. <laughs> Go, my dear! How's it hanging? <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's terrible uh, rain. Not much. It it's, rained like two seconds. It's still spitting. It's just bad enough that you really can't do nothing. Yeah. Well, and uh, it's supposed to rain throughout the day, so maybe we'll mm. get more than what we're getting now. It would be lovely. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I don't know. I just figured we would touch in with some sort of video. Right now, though, I am like, I'm just disappointed, I guess. I'm not mad. Oh, here. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. You no. don't want to talk. Ah, I'm not really mad. I am just so disappointed, okay? Now, I mentioned this before, that Lieutenant Colonel Vidman. Now, just leave politics out of it, please. This is not a political matter. Most both people are guilty of the same offense. They both did. They went outside of the chain of command. All right? That is punishable by the Uniform Code of Military Justice. Now, one man, uh, that Lieutenant Colonel Vidman, he was protected. And he was protected for a very simple reason. Because... He spoke out, but he only spoke hearsay evidence. It was only hearsay, things he heard at the water cooler, so to speak, that made President Trump look bad. So the Democrats in Congress, and like I said, this is not political. This is a, a, a side that you need to take, right or wrong. So they protected this man, and he maintained. He eventually resigned his commission, but he maintained his benefits and he got his retirement. And I do believe he was in for, he was not in long enough to retire. So there is that. The other young man spoke out against the botched withdrawal from Afghanistan. No one would say that leaving Afghanistan was a bad idea. But the way that they did it caused lives. We left people behind. It was just unthinkable. And he spoke out against this, and he wanted to know where the accountability was for the, his commanding generals and, you know, all the way up to the Department of Defense. Where was the accountability for this? Someone turned a worm on him and said, if you feel that strongly, you should resign your commission. So he tried to. And because he spoke out against this administration, you have to understand he has put, been put in the brig, as of yesterday, in solitary confinement. He can't even talk to his parents. And guess what? They haven't brought charges against him. All right, these are two guys. Both did something wrong, in my opinion. This just goes back to our justice. It has to be equal justice. All right? If this young man with a stellar combat... I mean, he's been on three different deployments. He has a stellar combat performance record. And his not a mark on his military record at all. Uh, definitely Vidman, uh, he had several bad reviews on his. Scheller never had a bad review, right? Yet you protect one man because you're playing politics, and the other young man you're not protecting. You're going to barbecue him. What I'm telling you is America is broken. You guys got to stop. Both guys did the exact same thing. I don't care if you agree with it or not. I personally disagree <clears throat> with it in both cases. The problem I'm having is they both are guilty of the same offense and they're being treated differently. If you can't see that's the problem with this country, man, we're really in trouble. But anyway, I digress. Like I said, it is just raining enough that you can't do nothing. But it's not raining enough to help me. <laughs> Isn't that a bummer? I need some... You, you guys don't understand. I mean, here in East Texas... Yeah, my dirt's pretty much caliche. <laughs> I mean, I've got a little bit of topsoil to work with, not much, but I can't drive a T-post into this stuff. I think you're 
aiming the camera that way. Um, no, I can see you on the screen. Oh, yes. sorry. I was trying to aim it a little bit that way to get the glare from the screens off of you. Uh, so everybody can appreciate the magnificent glory of my wife. <laughs> the sheer beauty of her. I mean, look at her. She's so sweet. That's because I didn't sleep much. And she's so humble, too. Um, um, you know, he's right. He's only stating the truth. Yes. She was razzling a dog last night. And a cat. All <laughs> of the sudden, this dog thinks that it gets play dates whenever it feels like it. Yeah, last night she just like, you know, the last couple of nights she felt like she feels like she wants to play around. The last time I took her out, I was like, I'm done. You stay inside. I don't care how much you knock, how much you knock. And she knocks on the door. She's safe outside. It's oh, yeah. She's on a leash. She's not going anywhere. She's up on the porch. We sort of live in the country. Yeah, so it's not like she's going to be in any sort of uh, danger. It's not cold. It's not hot. It's fine. She's fine outside. She's a dog. But I was like, okay, it's one in the morning. I need to get some. Sort oh of man, sleep. let me tell you something. Last night, right? See, I, 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 as an educated redneck, I've been suffering or fighting off this head cold. You know those annoying head colds where you kind of got a sniffle and your head feels like it's in a bubble. I've been fighting one of these off for a few days, so I've been taking Tylenol PM. So while her and my children were eating cereal at midnight, I it was wasn't snoozing. Midnight. It wasn't midnight. It was it, like 10. <laughs> that's midnight. <laughs> oh, they're like, oh, can we have some cereal? We're kind of hungry. I'm like, oh, oh why aren't you anything? asleep? <laughs> but, you know, it's okay. You know, we, we have days where we have just days like that. Yes. And, what was that feller, David, uh, good dude feller, Derek? What was he planting? David the Good? Yeah, yeah. What was he planting yesterday? Rutabakers. Rutabakers. Yeah, we got to plant some rutabakers yeah, today. He said you need the you need uh, blue soil, which we got. We got. We got, we got some loose soil. We got three spots over here I can put rutabakers in. We got at least six inches. Yeah. He said it's a good uh, good crop to have. Um, I don't so, think I ever ate a Ruder Baker, but yeah, we we'll did. grow we grew, some. We grew one, and they were good. Oh, yeah, they we're going to grow some Ruder Bakers. You know how uh, turnips have that kind of crunchy, they have that kind of crunchy oh. texture that's a little cabbagey and a little spicy. They kind of have that, but a lot milder, and they're closer right. to a potato than they're... I milder. mean, like that kohlrabi and rutabakers uh, and, and uh, the turnips, man. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, that stuff makes great that's coleslaw. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't like it cooked, but when it's raw, it's great. I can eat it like an apple, man. Though. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. That's good stuff. But anywho, I'm just saying, people, please stop drinking the Kool-Aid because you have good men. Good, honest men that right now that are really suffering, all right? And this guy was rightfully, rightfully upset with that withdrawal over there. You have to understand several of those people that got killed in the suicide uh, bombing, he trained. They went through his training regiments. I mean, he knew them personally, all right? And was what he did wrong? Yes, it was wrong. Uh, was what he did wrong on the same scale as Vidman? Oh, yeah, I think what Lieutenant Colonel Vidman did was the worst because what he said were things that were not verified. It was hearsay. I mean, that's even worse in my opinion, but hey, that's just my opinion. But they're both guilty of the same offense, so they both need the same punishment, yeah. all right? But we don't have equal justice, and anybody that doesn't see that, you've drank the Kool-Aid, and you're we sitting don't. here thinking I'm a nut. No, we don't. Anywho's, I think I'm going to plant some Rudy Baker, not Rudy Bakers, what Rudy were they? Rudy Huh? Yeah, we'll plant some Rudy Bakers. That, 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 what was that stuff, that, that other stuff that dude planted? Was that the... It was not Ruder Bakers. It was something. No, he, he just talked about Ruder Bakers. Oh, it was Ruder Bakers. Yeah, we got to plant some Ruder Bakers. Anyway... <laughs> Rooter Beggars. that's Ruder right. Beggars. we still need to put on a uh, car. Um, Kohlrabi! No. We need to put carrots in and 
What else was I good? Well, that platen called rabbi? Well, the cold rabbi's there. It's there. It's there. It's sprouting. And it's doing sprouting. Its thing. Okay. So the cold rabbi's, it's already in progress. It's just not in the, in the outside garden yet. Ah. It needs to be cooler. Yes. Before I do that. And hopefully, you know, October, November. And I remember our first frost wasn't until December. So we yeah. should have. We got plenty of time. Yeah. yeah I just, time. it feels like I'm doing nothing. Well, because. That's kind of harsh. We just sit But here. I know I feel like I'm doing nothing. We were just sitting here. Ah uh, well. Shooting the breeze. Shooting the breeze. Starting the day. Uh, was that Abby stirring in there? Yeah, she went to the bathroom and she went back to bed. Ah. <laughs> I'm gonna let her sleep because we got church tonight. We got Bible I'm reading. I'm looking forward to. Well, yeah, me too. We'll keep them. We'll we'll keep them uh, in on our table. Let well, them make their own. Them. Yeah, it's, it's up, up to them. them. You know, uh, we're studying the Book of Daniel, and it's I like that's one of my favorite ones. It's it's got so much that you can draw mm. on it. You know, there's uh, the part you know where he, you know, they have. Just real quick, the, they had wow. taken from, they have been taken, is it Judah or the other Israel? Anyways, yeah. they were taken into Babylon, and they, they yeah. picked some of the best, some of the best looking kids, the smarter kids, the whatever, and they took, uh, they took Whoa. him to Babylon to serve in the government. What was that? Uh, my dance here. Oh, <clears throat> but, oh I must have kicked it. <clears throat> if you read it. Read it first, and then think about our current times. Yeah. And in the, and how our kids are being indoctrinated in school. I know, right? Wait. Yeah. Think about it. The first thing they do is they change their names. Mishka something in a bendigo. I always only but they, they change them. Yeah, that's what they do. I, I remember it's a bendigo. They change their names. The first thing to make them compliant and part of the the Babylonian government the Babylonian uh, kingdom then you're like literally aiming it over there I'm not I'm on you <laughs> I told you what I'm trying to do then they change their diet you do that all the time I think you're aiming it somewhere <laughs> then they change their diets yes okay they're literally trying to make them mold them to their own way of thinking so that they can, you know, use them in their government. Oh, that's what libtards do in the schools nowadays. But what a good Christian, and in that, at that time a good a good son of God does, he never forget who he belongs to. That right. Okay? And, it's, I mean, that's one thing. I mean, that, there's lots of levels. One, he never, Daniel never forgot who he belonged to all the way to the end of his life. Yes. To God takes care of his people. <clears throat> he protected the, protected him from the lions. He protected his bodies from the, uh, his friends from the fire. He uh, made it so that these, they found favor with the people of the eunuch that was in charge of the young man. All these things. And he gave him, again, the dream. Then uh, he gave Daniel the dream. And yes. but there's another thing about humility. Because when Daniel goes up and tells the uh, tells the Pharaoh, uh, no, the king, his name uh, was it Nebuchadnezzar, right? Yes. When he tells Nebuchadnezzar the dream, he says, "Oh, you know this dream." He says, "No one on this earth can tell you the dream, only God." And he right. let me tell you, but right. he never takes credit for anything, you yeah. know. And so there's a lot of things there to unpack. That's a fun one. Then he gets to a point, the book goes through a lot of things, and then you get to the point where it's the prophecy. But I'll make it right. really quick. I won't, I won't tell you too long. But the prophets, when they prophesy... Hey, you got to start looking up in books now. No, 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 no I'm just going to show you something. Uh -oh. they, when they prophesy, okay, they talk about a lot of things and stuff. <clears throat> this is what, I, you know, this has been a really good resource for me. Because, let's say that they talk about a town or a city. Give me that. I, I, wait, <laughs> uh, touch the back of the screen. I, I had a little thing. I don't know if you can tell. Aha, that's that right there, folks. Really good book. Yeah, it, where they right. we talk about a town and a city. You look it up here. It will tell you what it is, how, it, how to view it in the context of the Bible. 
and then you go back to the text and it makes more sense. I mean, there's a lot of people out there that say that they, they talk and they know all these things about the Bible and you're wondering, how can they possibly have all this knowledge? It's all out there for you to have, okay? <coughs> you know? Yeah. It's all books. It's just read. Yep. Read it. You know? Anyway. Anyway, uh, yeah. I thought, but, uh, I look, back to what I, what I was talking about just for one second and then we let y'all go. These are two young men, very educated young men, stellar in the community, both of them. Both of them serving their country the best they can, all right? And why should there be two sets of justice? You know that's not right. No. Deep in your heart, you were raised better than this. You know, nowadays, you don't even have to pay for a stamp. All you have to do is email your yeah. congressman yeah. or your senator. You don't have to do anything. Just email them saying, hey, I'd like you to look into this because both of these young men did the exact same thing. Both of these young men deserve the same penalty. Yeah. So whatever that penalty is, we already know what they did with Vidman. They discharged him and let him keep all his benefits. They need to do the same to this guy. You've already set the precedent. But I'm tired of people saying there's nothing I can do. There is. This will literally take you two minutes of your time. Just send an email to your congressman. That's it. Because this man needs our help. And we have got to stop this two-tier justice system it's not right nope it's not that's i mean right. but you know that's it what did the mexican say oh bio con dios <laughs> right yes bio con dios go with god, go with god. all right y'all yeah, have I a like good that. day that should be our our closing thing. bio con dios only if you say it right mister i don't say any words right not <laughs> even in english <laughs> you say it Vaya con Dios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vaya con Dios. May God walk with you today. Bye-bye. <laughs>